another cool thing. My brother and I, uh, like I was told you in the last video, we're working on some gondolas for our scrapyard. He made a, a uh, actual homemade um, scrap load for this gondola, which is, this is an MTH gondola. This was one of the MTH gondolas that had, you know, had their stock scrap, scrap load in it. So since he wasn't gonna use that, I took it and uh, I've got it at, at, at my place and I've been painting it and, and adding to it. So I think I got it painted to the degree that I like it. And now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some, some pieces of scrap to the top of it. It'll, it'll just give it a little bit different look than what we have going on here, but this looks great. And it's removable. It comes, it comes right out, um, pulls right out. So it can be transferred between cars or used in between, but he did a really nice job on that. I was actually running, uh, running the Pennsylvania Atlas Master Pennsylvania uh, SD40s. These are not Dash 2s, these are SD40s. Um, beautiful locomotives. Might be the best looking locos that I have in my collection. Um, I have duplicates of the 6107. So, um, I'm torn. This is a powered unit. Both 6107s are powered. 6103 is a dummy. I, uh, these run so nice and they pull so strong. This one powered unit was pulling two dummies and, uh, what, 15 freight cars on its own, up three and a half percent. And it did it for about an hour. I think it was getting a little warm there at the end of the hour, so I shut her down. Didn't want to overwork it. It's, it's got a little, it's got a little heat. <laughs> it's a little bit warm. I mean, it's not hot. It's not melty. It's just warm. But feeling like I might take the cab off of uh, 6103 and the rear number boards and just swap them over to my other powered unit and then sell off the, the, uh, the this dummy unit, but it's number 6107 instead of 6103, if that makes any sense. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you keep these? They do run nice. They do run nice and they're beautiful. They're so proportionate in scale. Um, when you have these next to anybody's SD40-2, the look of these just absolutely blows, blows away any version of an SD40-2 that anybody else has on the market right now. And these were made in like 05, 06, 07. So Atlas was way ahead of the game when it came to, uh, when it came to detail back then. But in any case, hope everybody's having a great weekend. Thanks for visiting us here at the Lake Erie Midwestern. Happy railroading, everybody. Take care. Mm -hmm.